Hey, everybody. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I forgot to make a switch. And I'm hearing myself. All right, there we go. That's better. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, I'm echoing. And it was just me. Oh, man. Well, so... I've been busy all day. I have not had a chance to watch Nintendo Direct. I'm actually working with a team that's... Uh, while I'm on the East Coast, I work now on a team on the West Coast. And so it was 2 p.m. when this when this went off, and I was in the middle of a meeting. No way to get out of it. And, you know, I figured... I, well, I looked at... I looked at my schedule after them... After my work day, and I was like, holy crap, I'm not going to have time to watch it. And, I, and then I was like, well... Why don't we just watch it? And some of y'all probably already seen it. And if you haven't, then you'll be watching it with me. Um, I have. I've avoided Twitter. <laughs> I've I've just been off social media. I'm running late because we were watching Book of Boba Fett. We wanted to see the end of Book of Boba Fett. And so uh, that allowed me to stay away from social media and avoid any spoilers. So here I am. I have not seen anything about what's what's in this uh, Nintendo Direct, and I thought we'd spend the first few uh, for 40 minutes of the stream just watching Nintendo Direct. Watching it again, you can get my reaction. This will be my live reaction to, to everything. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, and then and then we'll get to uh, back to Pokemon Red and everything like that. It's all ready to go. It's not on or anything like that, but. We'll, we'll, we'll turn it on and have it all ready to go. I did get, um, where is it? Where did I put it? Did I put it on the shelf? I did get, uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney today <laughs> in pretty good condition, I would say. So, so that'll be one of the upcoming games, uh, is Phoenix Wright. So that'll be fun. I've never played a Phoenix Wright game, so, so that'll be cool. <sighs> Yeah, we watched we watched Nintendo or uh, hey uh, Nintendo in a galaxy far far away. <laughs> um, oh, I guess as always we can uh, take a break from Nintendo Direct or uh, <laughs> Pokemon Red later and play a game like I think that's Millipede, not Centipede. It is. It's Millipede. It's very, it's a very subtle difference between the two, but it does not have to be Millipede. It can be any of these games on this arcade list right here. And if I beat the high score, I'll put your name on the high score list. All right. So I guess without further ado, let's start the Nintendo Direct. Hey, Zab. If you haven't seen the Nintendo Direct, we're about to watch the Nintendo Direct together. If you've seen it, then you'll love watching my reaction to it, I guess. <laughs> um all right here we go oh thank you Yeah, do not ruin anything. Okay, Fire Emblem. Standard start. I haven't played any Fire Emblem the cycle of this world. games. I will not allow it to perish with you. destroy the irrational power structure that shackles oh, I don't think I have it on my list either. If the kingdom is ever to part ways with our bloody past, this is the path we must walk. I have ambitions, Edelgard. Real ones. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or oh, will no, I you do. help me seize control of my fate? So I do have Fire Emblem on the list. We shall fight. We shall survive. And we shall win a glorious future for Fodlin. But now that I know, I won't make the same mistake again. 
Oh, this is a Warriors game. Oh, cool. I I I enjoyed the Warriors, the Hyrule Warriors game. It's Fire Emblem Warriors. You Got it. Oh, that's cool. Your rage and heal your wounded heart. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you must. All right. Well, I guess I'll add that to the list. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the trailer for the Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes game. We hope you'll look forward to a different story set in the same universe as Fire Emblem Three Houses. Let's see the first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. <laughs> We used to call it the, the Orange Nintendo Star Nation Snap. needs you. We've got more intel on the Advance Wars 1 plus 2 oh, reboot Advance campaign. Advance Wars, yeah. In the first campaign, Advance Wars, you'll advise a colorful cast of commanding officers and use their abilities in vibrant turn-based battles. Each commanding officer is now voiced, Hello. bringing even more charm to these characters. You're gonna get hurt. I see right through your plans. Another full campaign awaits in Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. More commanding officers and more diverse terrain can be leveraged for additional tactical opportunities, like blasting through pipelines to cross into enemy territory. In both campaigns, you can fast forward gameplay and reset your turns for a smoother tactical experience. Flex your strategic muscles outside of both campaigns with additional modes. Go for high scores in the war room. Create and share custom maps in the design room. Or battle friends and frenemies in local and online multiplayer. I like how they said frenemies. I just thought that was Advance funny. Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp marches onto the Nintendo Switch system April 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Explore an infinite universe. Are they... In No Man's Sky. Oh wow, every No star Man's Sky is the on the light Switch. of a distant sun. Interesting. Each orbited by planets teeming with life. Travel to planets of your choosing in this infinite, procedurally generated universe. Here, you'll discover extraordinary lands and creatures that have never so been I played, seen. So I played I played quite a bit of No Man's Sky. Never be seen again. Excuse me, before I started to streaming. You must craft Eventually your own I just kind of got bored with and it even your and, own place uh, to live. Kind of moved along. In this living and breathing universe, trade convoys travel between stars. It was probably stars. the last game I played Factions right before territory. Uh, streaming. Pirates hunt unwary travelers, and the authorities are ever watchful. Your journey may be fraught with danger, and actions have consequences. Trader, fighter. Explorer. Yeah, they're infinitely the same. Exactly. How will you live in this universe? No Man's Sky lands on Nintendo Switch this summer. <laughs> yeah! I guess so. Especially when Bowser's like lighting the ball on fire. It's true. I like the art style here. I don't know if that's in the game though. Mario Strikers Battle League. <laughs> Prepare for Strike, a five on five sport like soccer that's way heavy on offense. Aim for goals by dribbling and passing to teammates, as well as by using tackles. <laughs> items and crushing <laughs> special shots the main rule in this sport is to rule the field try to score more goals than your opponents there are two things to keep in mind that <laughs> Wario is you using his hands I don't know if that's first the gear uh, you allowed. equip it changes not only your appearance but also your stats like speed strength and pass accuracy Customize as you see fit. Second, the Hyper Strike. To activate this shot, 
grab an orb when it appears on the field and charge it while your opponents are distracted. Hit the net and you'll score not one, but two goals. <laughs> Up to eight players, four players on each team can oh, compete wow. against each other on one. That's probably the most. Well, no, there's, uh, there's In addition Mario Kart. To individual <laughs> matches, online play will have an online club mode. Join an in-game club and compete for placement in the rankings. Up to 20 players can join a club. So create your own and invite friends and family to play alongside you. Or join an existing one owned by other players. Try to become the world's top club. With items. Tackles. And hyper strikes. Anything goes on this field. Mario Strikers Battle League launches on Nintendo Switch June 10th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. So I, I do have a story here. There, so a long time ago, I worked on Madden 2005, uh, and I was a programmer, and, um, and you know, it was on the GameCube, and I worked on, uh, on the GameCube version. And I worked, I... I went to the Super Bowl, and uh, the, which was in Houston, which is my hometown, and that's where why I got selected to go. And I ended up like at a the Madden Bowl, which is where these football players come and play uh, Madden. And um, at some point, I then kind of get up in the executive area, and there was this uh, kind of head marketing lady and she was like oh oh we need to get mario into madden football and blah 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 <laughs> that's and that's what this just reminded me of was that conversation what would that be uh like 18 years ago <laughs> so like 18 years ago so anyway those people are long gone uh, the CEO was up there too. I got to meet Larry Probst, who was the CEO at the time, and uh, it was really cool. But I just I completely for, uh, forgot about that conversation about we really need to have Mario in our in our Madden football game, and that's what this kind of reminded me. <laughs> right, I'm sure Nintendo would, probably would not have liked that. I think there would have been a lot of licensing. That uh, that needed to happen in order for that to happen. But anyway, that's what that reminded me of. The latest iteration of the Mario Strikers series is coming to Nintendo Switch. We hope you're excited for this anything goes battle soccer game. Next, please take a look at this. I, I figured we'd be seeing something about Splatoon. It's supposed to come out this year. <laughs> Matteo. <laughs> I've never I've never been a Splatoon fan, so this is a little loud. They decided to bring out the loud music for this game. I guess this is the first footage we've seen from Splatoon. Unless this isn't Splatoon 3. And this is some sort of other game.
Yeah, it does look like chaos. <laughs> I'm sure it is, though. Platoon 3, Salmon Run, Next Wave. Okay. What a weird name. That was the trailer for the co-op mode in the Splatoon 3 game. Ah. The next wave of Salmon Run. A giant salmonid, one that's never been seen before, was also spotted at the end of the trailer. Will the Inklings and Octolings ink or swim? Splatoon 3 will launch this summer. We hope you'll look forward. So that was a trailer for a mode of Splatoon 3. <laughs> Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Fonzers at the ready. A full remake of the first Front Mission game is storming onto Nintendo Switch. In this tactical RPG, you'll pilot weaponized machines called Vanzers and lead your battalion to victory. Looks like, uh... Gain the upper hand in battle by aiming for enemy parts to destroy. What are they called? Mix and match various weapons and parts there to customize your There was a game Vanzer. a long time ago that was like this. Uncover the great storyline of this classic when Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo yeah. Switch this summer. <laughs> yeah, probably guy. And in the future, the sequel Front Mission 2 Remake will also launch on Nintendo Switch. Get set for a high-octane Disney and Pixar combat racer. <laughs> From the creators of the Asphalt series comes rip roaring racing action across Disney and Nothing Pixar like inspired Mario Kart racetracks. Though. Race as a legendary roster of characters on high speed circuits, using each one's special abilities to battle for victory across the finish line. Choose Mickey Mouse for symphonic speed, Sully for monstrous power, or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Each racer also possesses powerful ultimate skills perfect for turning the tables at the last second. Disney Speedstorm is a free-to-play game, with new seasons added regularly, bringing more exciting Disney and Pixar characters, circuits, carts, and more. Interesting that it's free-to-play. Plus, enjoy cross-platform play, as well as split-screen and online multiplayer modes. Disney Speedstorm races onto Nintendo Switch this summer. I wonder if it's cross-platform with mobile then. Dive into these classic franchises on Nintendo Switch. Unleash the power of the Force in this classic Force Star Unleashed. Wars action yeah. adventure. That's cool. As Darth Vader's secret apprentice, you'll use devastating Force powers and lightsaber combos as you hunt down Jedi Masters on iconic planets. Upgrade abilities like Force Grip and Force Repulse, then combine them for even more destructive combos. Use button controls or opt for motion controls enhanced from the original Wii version. You can also duel locally with a friend to determine who is the galaxy's most powerful Jedi. Star Wars The Force Unleashed launches on Nintendo Switch April 20th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. The complete saga of legendary assassin Ezio Auditore da Firenze awaits in three critically acclaimed Assassin's Creed games. Explore Renaissance Italy and 16th I remember century when it came Constantinople. Out on the Interact with historical figures and discover secrets of the creed across three games, two bonus short films, and DLC. Plus, take advantage of enhanced features for the Nintendo Switch system on the go, including touchscreen controls, HD rumble, and optimized on-screen display. Assassin's Creed The Ezio Collection launches on Nintendo Switch February 17th. Pilot mobile suits in dynamic action RPG battles. Gundam battle. Strange incidents called breaks are occurring across the Gundam universe. Find out what's causing them and restore the proper timeline. You'll lead three mobile suits in battle. Enhance each suit with parts to improve their power. I think you it was Mechwarrior is what I was thinking of. You can also battle alongside friends in online co-op multiplayer. 
SD Gundam Battle Alliance launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Two worlds cross in the triumphant return of this RPG classic. A remaster of the acclaimed RPG Chrono Cross is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. But I got it. One fateful day, the protagonist <laughs> Surge wanders into an alternate world. Though it somewhat resembles his home world, he finds that he no longer exists here. How did this happen? What is this mysterious another world? Yeah, Travel so I'm, I'm ready to play this, but I'll, I'll be playing it on the PlayStation. Store. Over 40 characters can join your party. Depending on the choices you make, I actually the played this game you and when it originally came out. Will differ. But I haven't played it in a over number of 20 improvements years. improvements have been made to this remaster, like the ability to turn off enemy encounters and a newly enhanced soundtrack. Plus, Radical Dreamers, originally released on the Satellaview, is included. Oh, interesting. Experience the origins of Chrono Cross in this text-based adventure. A text-based adventure? Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers edition, dashes and slashes its way onto Nintendo Switch April 7th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Well, we knew we knew about Kirby. But I do have my, the Kirby on the list, and I plan on playing all the classic Kirby games eventually, including the the Game Boy version. Because <laughs> he ate a whole car. <laughs> I guess he didn't eat a whole car. It's Kirby's latest unforgettable 3D platforming adventure, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It all takes place in a mysterious world with an unusual mix of nature and civilization. <laughs> to rescue the kidnapped Waddle Dees, <laughs> Kirby sets off on a new Those adventure. Are cute. Introducing Mouthful Mode. <laughs> Inhale a car to zoom around. That reminds me of Odyssey where you, you put the hat on anything, right? A vending machine to attack with juice cans. Or become a piercing cone. <laughs> become a piercing cone. With mouthful mode, new actions will be available for Kirby depending on the object he inhales. <laughs> Enjoy exploring with new that's, moves that's, different that's pretty from cool. copy abilities. I already had this on my Kirby list, can even weaponize but I was going to play all the Kirbys like before this. I played it, so you know me. As Kirby rescues Waddle Dees, Waddle Dee Town will continue to grow and more resources will become available. At Waddle Dee's weapon shop, familiar copy abilities can be evolved. Evolve copy abilities to expand Kirby's range of attacks. They'll also change Kirby's appearance and make him even more powerful. <laughs> Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. Who are the beast pack? What are these enemies trying to do? Can Kirby restore peace to this world? Kirby and the Forgotten Land launches on the Nintendo Switch system March 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, I remember that was coming out. That was Kirby and the Forgotten Land, launching later next month. Please look forward to its release. Let's take a look at some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Nintendo Direct, you can see the MLB the show. It's funny because that, that used to be a Sony exclusive. <laughs> I guess you're right, I should be wearing a Mario hat. Right? 
That's right, Otani-san. MLB The Show is coming to Nintendo Switch. That means you can play modes like Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty on your Nintendo Switch. But that's not all. You can even play Exhibition with a single Joy-Con controller. With cross-progression, you can also earn and use content on any platform where MLB The Show 22 is available. And take your progress on the go with you on Nintendo It was Switch. weird seeing MLB uh, Show on Xbox. Because MLB The Show, MLB the show was always a Sony consoles. exclusive because no it's made by Sony. You can and them this past year it was on them. Xbox. And I think it was because uh, MLB made them do that. I knew you were a true two-way player, but this is ridiculous. Sheesh. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. <laughs> You're gonna have your hands full of games with these collections. Three Kingdom Hearts collections are yeah. almost here. From Kingdom Hearts to Kingdom Hearts 3 and the Remind DLC. That's all every cloud, entry though. is coming to Nintendo Switch as cloud versions that can be played while connected to the internet. Relive or get to know these heart-filled adventures alongside Sora, Donald, Goofy, and more for the first time in TV, tabletop, or handheld mode. Kingdom Hearts Intergram Masterpiece for Cloud, containing all three game collections, soars onto Nintendo Switch tomorrow. Yeah, that just means you're, it's not actually rendering on the Switch. On Nintendo e it's rendering in the cloud and being sent down to the Switch. Klonoa is coming to Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I Across dreamy side-scrolling levels, You'll run, jump, and hover while firing wind bullets. To I had grab never heard of enemies. this game until Unexpected Use Enemy. Level surroundings to your advantage. Uh, like has it as one of his characters in also, on, on his emotes. Also, Klonoa 2 is included. Take on these great adventures when Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Series launches on Nintendo Switch July 8th. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> Come here often. Either way, you're in for a puzzling treat. We played in these, these. <laughs> award-winning games. The portal gun is your key to surviving imprisonment in a mysterious lab. Create portals and warp to other yeah. areas to find. Uh, uh, agree, tape? Kai. It uh, still unconfirmed. I don't think you it would be too bad because so can cues, um, it's not a multiplayer game. With I would think if you were to play a multiplayer game, the sequel adds in local on the cloud. Online, that would not feel that great. Multiplayer modes. And that part's no lie. Neither is the sentient robot monitoring your every move. <laughs> when Portal Companion Collection Cobra. warps onto Nintendo Switch this year. Yeah, why don't you have GLaDOS there? That seems like a miss. <laughs> a classic comes alive. unreleased outside of Japan, the RPG Live Alive makes its overseas Live debut, Alive. now in HD 2D. Multiple stories featuring different protagonists and time periods await. The order in which you tackle them is up to you. Prehistory. That's cool. A tribesman comes of age in a world without words. The Wild West. A wanderer with a bounty on his head fights for his life. Imperial China. A kung fu master searches for a worthy successor. Twilight of Edo, Japan. A shinobi undertakes an important secret mission. Present day, a martial artist strives to become the strongest there ever was. The near future, a youth with psychic powers takes a stand against evil. The distant future, a newly built robot is swept up in a tragedy in space. What other stories are on the horizon? You will repay my loyalty in death! Live Alive launches That's on cool. Nintendo Switch July 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. How was that? Next up is this. So, oh. <laughs> they didn't snap. It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports series. Oh my goodness, they put Wii Sports Nintendo on Switch? Switch Sports. 
Please take a look. <laughs> Here are the sports included in the Nintendo Switch sports game. You might recognize these three from past Wii sports games. Tennis. Rally by gently swinging the Joy-Con controller at the right time. Hey, hey, Olympus, how's it going? Bowling. Roll the ball straight ahead or give it a little curve. And Chambara. Knock your opponent off the platform while attacking and defending. <laughs> I know, Plus, I totally agree. Three additional sports I was are totally the thinking of that. The Miis look better. Soccer. Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic plays. Enjoy matches with Joy-Con controllers to shoot and perform diving headers. By attaching a Joy-Con controller to the leg strap accessory included with the physical version of the game, you can play shootout mode with intuitive kicking motions. Oh my goodness. Badminton. Control your shots left and right while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. Unleash powerful smash shots to gain the upper hand. Finally, volleyball. Use a Joy-Con controller to serve, bump, set, and spike the ball. <laughs> the game supports local play with family and friends on yeah. one Nintendo Switch system, as well as online play across all sports. Play against friends online, or opt for random matchmaking. The more you win, the tougher the players you'll face. Yeah. Try taking on this challenge. I have several Joy Cons around here. But How was that? Since I'm already here, I like usually use my pro controller for most games on the sports. Switch. Volleyball. Yeah. Mr. Takahashi. <laughs> oh. Yep, they tech. Hello there, everyone. Oh. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from <laughs> Nintendo. Wow, Mr. Koizumi, I can see you're ready to play. All right, I'll play some volleyball online together with Mr. Koizumi. Do you have your wrist strap ready? Yes, of course. Yes. Of course, I have it strapped to my wrist. I've got plenty of space around me as well. <laughs> All right, let's start. We'll be including some live commentary throughout our match. <clears throat> All right, oh, we're doing this? Uh, volleyball, a newly added sport in Nintendo Switch Sports. What can we expect today from the <laughs> Takahashi Koizumi team? I can guarantee it's they did Koizumi not do that. Someone, well, someone did that. Up front. We begin with Koizumi serving. How will the opposing team react? Takahashi makes the block. Another one's coming. Koizumi saves it. A setup in the air, and here comes the spike. The other team saves it and fights back. And they score. Takahashi didn't quite get it in time. Looks right, like well, it was out. It's okay. It's okay. The game's not over. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives it. Oh, they're, they're spending Takahashi way too much up. time on this. <laughs> Koizumi spikes, but it goes right toward the opponent. Here's another attack. Now's their chance. They get the ball. And with a setup from Koizumi, Takahashi scores. They got a point with that fierce spike. Woo. Let's stop our match here. After all, we were in the middle of a presentation. All right, I'll be leaving now. Oh, wow. That's going to be my exit that for now. That was an on. introduction to Nintendo Switch Sports. <laughs> the game launches April 29th. <laughs> we're planning a free update in the summer that allows you to play soccer matches with a Joy-Con controller and the leg strap accessory. You can use the accessory to play shootout mode at launch. In addition... We're also planning a second free update this fall that lets you enjoy golf. And now, a request to everyone. To help ensure that you can all enjoy playing online, we'll be having an online playtest before the game launches to evaluate various technical aspects. We definitely like to ask for your help with this. The online playtest will only be available for players with an active Nintendo Switch online membership on the dates shown on screen. For those of you interested, please visit the official Nintendo website for more details. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I have for now about Nintendo Switch Sports. 
I hope you're looking forward to this game. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Get those Taiko drumming skills ready! Okay. The latest Taiko no Tatsujin game is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Set in Omiko City, the sacred town for Taiko drums, you'll strive to become a Taiko master along with brand new character Kumokyun. Drum to dozens of poppin' <laughs> beats, including Megalovania, Gurenge, Feel Special, and Racing okay. into the Night. This the dogs dancing An is what got me of the main laughing. theme from The Legend of Zelda is included. That's 76 songs total. Plus, take advantage of a practice mode to replay sections of songs as many times as you'd like. New modes have also been added for everyone to enjoy. Put on a live concert with up to four players in Donchen Band. Or face off against each other in Great Drum Toy War. Drum to your heart's content when Taiko no Tatsujin Rhythm Festival launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Plus, a paid in-game subscription service that gives you access to over 500 songs will be available at launch. What's new with these Nintendo Switch games? <laughs> What's new? The brand new tactical RPG game Triangle Strategy is almost yeah. here. The protagonist Sarah Noah and his allies will be engulfed in the conflict among three nations. I always think nations. this art style Your looks really cool. And conviction will determine their fate. As Lord of House Wolfort, I solemnly swear an oath by which all future lords shall be bound. I will never turn my back on the promise of a better world. A new demo playable to the end of Chapter 3 will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Save data from the demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. More Cuphead action awaits in the paid DLC Cuphead The Delicious Last Course. Here, you'll explore a brand new Inkwell Isle, defeat a bevy of new bosses with wild personalities and even wilder attacks. The clever Miss Chalice is a new playable character. <laughs> Take down oh, yeah. fearsome foes I mean, with her double jumps. The art style Dungeons, is amazing on Cuphead. Cuphead. The game the is just so hard. <laughs> it's its way onto Nintendo Switch June 30th. A free update is coming to the Metroid Dread what? game. All it takes is one hit. What is the head? What is the even game? Even from this. Getting hit even once causes a game over in the brutal dread mode difficulty. No way! <laughs> Can you face this new challenge? Nope. That's okay. And for players it's hard new to enough. the Metroid series, take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added rookie mode difficulty. Oh, well, that's probably good for some people. <laughs> this free update launches later today. It's like, let's make modes on a each extreme. Update in April will add a boss rush mode in which you'll battle bosses oh, continuously, cool. one at a time. Something's bound <laughs> for Nintendo Switch. Okay. What are they adding? Earthbound. Yeah. <laughs> Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings will be added to Nintendo Switch Online later today. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs>
zombie army for Dead War. Oh my. Is that Getsu Fumu Din? <laughs> Demon Slayer. Lego Brawls. What? Two point campus. What did you think? Here's some news for Mario Kart fans. Many of you have been enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game since its launch in 2017. So, we've been working on remastering select courses from across the Mario Kart series That's cool. and we'll be releasing them as paid downloadable content. Hey. Please take a look at this trailer. Oh, okay. cool. I mean, I've played Mario Kart. I'm just not that good at it. Paid DLC courses will be coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> this is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. You may recognize some courses from past Mario Kart games. Eight courses will be released at a time over six waves. That's 48 additional courses we plan on releasing by the end of 2023. Wow. Courses such as Coconut Mall, Chaco Mountain, and Tokyo Blur will be included in the first wave. Of course, you can play these courses locally and online. The first wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass will launch March 18th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. You can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership or purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass on its own. How was that? I hope you're looking forward to the additional courses in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. <laughs> Fighting in order to live and living to fight. That's the way of our world. That looks interesting. Ionios. Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? We're fighting because there are enemies to kill. I refuse to believe you're him. I knew it. I saw this coming. You aren't. You're not enemies now. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. You could try. Try to move forward again. How can our lives be so and little do you! They're not your friends anymore! They're his fuel! Sword Mart. The land pierced by a great sword. It's the only way you're gonna defeat the real enemy. Whatever life is lost, I won't let you solve it all alone. What good filling up these flickering clocks in our eyes? It'll never replace the friends we've lost. The flame clock, it has to go! Uroboros abhor this world. They must be erased without a trace.
it is Xenoblade. I was like, is this Xenoblade? I think I have Xenoblade. Yeah, I do. Xenoblade Chronicles on, uh, I have that on, uh, on my list. The story of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 ties together the futures of the worlds depicted in Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and it will launch this September. I hope you'll look forward to it. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I need to pause for a second. Is it really the end? Is there no info? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this isn't a fake, fake ending, is it? All right. Uh, yeah, there was nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, I mean, it was, it, it was some good games in there. I got a little bit more information about Kirby, uh, and, um, um, Splatoon 3, but yeah, nothing groundbreaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, exactly. At least not more more news about Chris Pratt playing uh, Mario. <laughs> Whew. All right. Well, that was fun. I was glad we could do something a little bit different tonight and uh, watch the Nintendo Direct. And uh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I would say Kirby is probably the most I'm excited for, too. Yeah, definitely. I I I've played Kirby in the past and I've enjoyed them and you know, now that I'm streaming, I've kind of want to take that as an opportunity to go back and play all of the original ones too. So cuz that's what I do. That's what I do. All right. I am setting up words on stream. Because we're going to take a quick break. Yeah, Portal. I mean, I just finished Portal, so I'm not so <laughs> so, so interested in that. But. All right. Let's take a quick break. We're going to play some words on stream. And I'll be right back with Pokemon Red. All right. See you in a little bit. 